Thanks for stopping in. Today we're going to be installing a set of six point harnesses on a 2017 Polaris Razor XP Turbo. Hey guys, Adrenaline Junkie here. Today we're going to be installing a set of six point harnesses on a 2017 Polaris Razor XP Turbo. The harnesses we're installing are the Click 6 harnesses from Polaris. They're a six point harness uh, with a quick release one point of connection. And they really are a nice product. They're very well engineered. The fit and finish is great. So uh, enjoy the install and um, if you have any questions, leave us a comment. Now these belts are quite expensive, but rest assured you are getting a top quality product here. The belts come with nice rubber overlays to make them look clean and brand new hardware. We're going to start by mounting the belt retractors. They mount using a 16 millimeter nut. We're mounting everything loosely to start and we're only snugging it up. We're not torquing anything down as we're going to need to make adjustments as so, we go along. Uh, just the old seat belt comes out. So pull the old belts out, it's pretty straightforward. Bolt on top, bolt on the bottom. 16? 16. The top bolt is a 16 millimeter and the bottom is a 19. <laughs> so, to get the seat belts off, you need a 19 and a 16 mil. The harnesses utilize all of the stock mounting locations except for the top ones on the roll cage. Now we go ahead and do the same thing for the passenger side. Did you not get those off? What? Not yet. I'm gonna pull this up a bit anyway. If you want a little bit more matter. maneuverability, you can just loosen the center console. Those T40 Torx bolts need to come out from the center console anyways because that's where the new front harness brackets will be going. Loosen the side with the nut on it using a box end wrench. It's a lot easier to loosen that side rather than the bolt head side. These were on super tight, but once you crack them, you can use the ratchet to get them off the rest of the way. 19 mil on the one side, 16 on the other. Oh, we gotta unplug the connector. Remember to remove the electrical connector from the belt sensor on the driver's side before you remove that section of the belt. The passenger side belt doesn't have an electrical connector. Loosen and remove the passenger side. Once you're done that, you can position the new belts in that place and get those pieces ready to install. One thing you do need to pay attention to while you install these is, is that when you mount them and screw them all together, the belts are not twisted. Make sure they're going the proper way and they're not twisted or you're going to have to take them off and redo it. So here you see me installing the, uh, the hardware. I put the bolt in from the back, uh, from the engine side towards the front and the nut from the front side. Um, we notice that it's probably a lot easier if you do that the opposite way in your install and uh, we would suggest that, even though the instructions suggest otherwise. Mounting it with the nut towards the engine will make it a little bit easier to tighten in my opinion. Depending on the size of your hands, it might be a little difficult to maneuver under there. If you want to take an extra five minutes and remove the entire center console, it will make this process a lot easier. If you decide to remove the center console and lift it up a bit, remember to route the belts through it, or you're going to have to redo it. The front mounts on the harnesses you see here, they go on really easy. Polaris has provided us with all new hardware. The brackets are nicely bent, they're thick, they're very good quality, everything goes together great. The rears utilize the stock mounting locations and they also go together well. You'll need to remove the bolts that are in the locations of the lower harness mounts and set them aside. Once you've done that, you can position the new bracket for the front strap of the harness. As you see here, the front harness section is very straightforward. So that's pretty much it then, just tightening. Yeah. So here you see the harnesses all torqued up and installed real nice. Um, I'm going to show you the installation points here.
on the passenger side, you have both the front brackets. You have your rear bracket where the stock belt would have been. Then where the original um, belt buckles would have been, you have the two. Two at the back on each side into the roll bar. And once again, same thing on the driver's side. Back mounts, center mount where the buckles used to be. Once again, the top mounts where the retractors sit. And don't forget the fronts. Let's see how we can get the seat in there. So another nice thing about these harnesses is they don't impair the ability to get the seats in or out of the vehicle. That's a really nice feature. You can tell these have been well thought out. Doesn't seem to impair getting the seat in one bit. Nice and easy still. Personally, I don't think I could go back to regular racing harness after this. These are just too awesome. They go on and off as easy as a regular seat belt, but they offer way more protection. I recommend these to everybody now. They're one of the best modifications I've done, both for safety and comfort. Remember that when you're snugging up the harnesses that you tighten them up evenly on both sides so that the connector is in the middle around your belly button area? Oh, that's awesome. I'm so not used to having the feeling of having like a, a belt on, like a harness on, and like being able to move forward more than like this much if you're loose, right? It's a pretty good design. For the price, it better damn well be. 700 something dollars <laughs> for two. From Polaris? Yeah, OEM Polaris. Look at that though, eh? Yeah. Like in a harness, like. Oh. <laughs> Oh, look, look at this quick release, bud, in case the razor catches fire. If you're on the fence about getting these, then just do it. I highly recommend them. You're not going to find a better harness than these. And on top of the fit and function, they really do look sweet. They make the razor look a lot more aggressive. They've got those nice pads on them, the, the plastic pieces that say razor. If you want more information on these harnesses and a more in-depth installation video, Check out our extended cut install and review video that can be found on our channel at Adrenaline Junkie Projects. And if you haven't already checked out and subscribed to our main channel, Adrenaline Junkie Prod, then click the link on the page in front of you and check it out for yourself. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to tell your friends about our videos if you like them. Don't forget to hit that like button. And most importantly, please subscribe so you can stay up to date with new videos.